How's it going guys? This is The Last Days of Tascaria, a new game that as of today is just out. I believe I, I'm still on the early access build, but the full game should be out now by the time you're seeing this. Basically, the what, what I've gathered from what this game is, is that it's kind of like a fantasy RPG version of FTL, Faster Than Light. You travel around the map, visit different territories, make choices along the way, fight battles, and at the end, there's uh, if you make it to the end, there are multiple different branching endings that you could have discovered through all that. So the Orcs Errand, the Greenskin Clan wants to hire your services, meet with Uger the leader to discuss the details. I shall do this. In this short mission you'll learn how to play. It's super basic easy stuff, I'm probably gonna largely skip through it. Medium is what we're going with, right up the middle. Since the war began in Tuscaria, you've been a sword for hire. I wasn't expecting voice acting, that's cool. Ugar, leader of the Greenskin Clan, wants to hire you. His camp is next to the tavern, where you are. While you're in the tavern, noises come from the camp. It seems that they are under attack. Here's kind of your map in which you would navigate. For now, we only have the one option. A group of kobold slaves is attacking the orcs. You can't see their masters, so for now, you can only fight the kobolds. Help the orcs. They want to hire you. Probably in my best interest to help them. There's some pretty simple battle mechanics of how you kind of navigate around the map here. You can slide around, click around, you'll eventually have different skills. You move and attack, all that good jazz. You can also pause the battle in case you want to issue very specific, more complicated uh, commands. For now, I only have the one guy. I don't even know what his name is, but that's all I got for the time being. Oh, armor reduces physical damage, so I better equip the axe instead. There, now I can bash this guy up real good. Eventually, I will have like a full party, so there's like a little bit more micromanagement that needs to be going on. And in that case, uh, I would probably want to be pausing the battle. A little bit of gold and some experience. Good job, I am Ugar, leader of the Greenskin Clan. Thank you for your help. Jesus, it looks like your camp is burning down actively right now. Your fire is a little bit too big. Might want to reel it in a bit. You're clearly the right man for the mission. When the war started, Chalce, a mad sorceress, raised an army of the undead and became unstoppable. We need your help to take a chest of gold to the hellish fields to buy a relic that can defeat her. I will help. I guess I could do either. I'll, I'll help. I don't know if I'd want to help monetarily. I don't have that much money. I kind of want to build up some savings. Sounds easy. Barely an inconvenience. Some warriors from the Black Horn clan can help us. We should visit them. After that, we will get the gold and start the expedition. Your decisions change how each faction sees you. Check the diary to see your standing. So right now, Greenskins are fans, and everyone else is neutral. There's a six different I have to be mindful of, it appears. And active events, that's pretty self-explanatory, I would think. Onward to the keep. You see two ogres and an army of orcs preparing to march. That's much more than what we need for this expedition. Ask the ogre what they're preparing for. This guy doesn't know what is going on. Find Vrotger, the leader of the clan. I'll ask him what he's up to. I don't want to write him off so immediately. We will march and fight and destroy things. Fair enough. I am going <laughs> to bail on that one then. Turns out he was useless. Vrotger, we won't help you. Chelsea has offered us a deal. She will guarantee us protection and our reign in the Blackhorn Barrens in exchange for some favor. Besides, going to the Hellish Fields is a suicide mission. I won't send my warriors there. The gold will buy the key to Chalce's destruction. Otherwise, she will destroy everything with her army of undead, including you and your clan. In the end, you will regret this decision. That's a setback, but we can hire mercenaries on our way to help us. Let's get the gold first. It's on the castle nearby. You just laid it gently on top of the castle, just sprinkled right along the uh, top layer there. The castle has been attacked. That's where the gold was stored. Someone broke into the castle and stole our gold. Hurry up inside. Ooh, we gotta bash our way through some thieves. You kill enemies, they're removed from the morale bar. When that hits zero, you win. But then the armored guy is like a special unit. So if I kill him specifically, it still is a win. 
Okay, so I could have chipped away at it by killing each of the the wizards or killing the one armored guy. This coal bald must be working for someone. Try to recruit other heroes to help us. We will meet at the exit portal. Ah, maybe I have a little bit of autonomy. No, this is still very straightforward. The team is hungry. Oh, I gotta get some food. You find Edna Krabappel, an old friend and former member of the Council of Mages. Also a miserable looking hag. Ask for help. So, you want to defeat Chalce? It will not be easy, as she has many relics. I will join you anyways. Ah, uh, great. Let's get a move on. Oh, we're hungry, and it lowers armor when you're hungry. You're no longer hungry. <laughs> I, oh, I see. This is my hunger bar. That's my food. They don't automatically eat it. I have to, I have to spend it myself. The mountain... Hi, Ugar, send me to guide you. In this mountains you may find gems, but be careful. The Blackhorn clan has already arrived. Ooh, I can use Edna to find some gems. Probably should have asked why. That was an option and I didn't bother. Take the shield, use it to block arrows coming from the front. Fight! I don't think I ever actually uh, manage my inventory between battles. It seems like I just kind of flick between things... Here, I, it, ha it has a cooldown, and I want to look at what some of your skills or abilities are. You can switch the belt, give people a good slap across the butt with that. But you also have a, a staff. Pretty standard looking staff. Hmm, do we just gun? If we kill two regular receiving orcs, then I think we're good. Uh, I probably am going to want to activate that right away. So, two, activate... My, my shield ability? No, you idiot. Oh, that totally, like, undid his command order. Oh, that was funny that he <laughs> got spun around facing the wrong direction there. Uh, this is... I didn't expect literally every enemy to be pr chucking projectiles. So that's a little bit heavy. It's, uh... Hopefully... It's gonna come right down to it, though. It's gonna be very tight as to whether or not I can fully kill everything before he dies. Nah, they're a bunch of pushovers. They're they're easing up already. And as soon as we kill this guy, dropped it to zero. Nice. And now we got some gems. I'm sure we'll find out where or how they're useful somewhere down the line. Okay, so I totally can manage the inventory to an extent. There's like abilities to invest in. That's cool as well. Fatigue increases over time. Dodge is lower if you're tired. Be sure to sleep. It heals you a little bit too. Yeah, okay, perfect. But I can't, can I just do it? Yeah, you can only do it when you're actually tired. So you can't just repeatedly force your guys to sleep if they're not, not feeling it, you know? Karma. This feels like Gryffindor is Slytherin like awarding points to the different houses. I have no idea what this stuff is. Off to yet another castle. You arrive, it seems abandoned. But there are signs of a recent fight. Try to find something. You find nothing. Try to find the library. You find two abilities. Taunt and Pyroblast. Oh good, it does have little tool tips. Enemies specifically attack you. And this one's made for Edna. Creates an area that will explode. Extra damage versus arrow armor. And 50% versus fire armor. Cool. Now your mage can do area damage, and your warrior can draw attention from the enemies. Learn both of them. Goblins from Blackhorn Keep have arrived. Prepare to fight. Don't forget to use your new abilities. Presumably they set it up in a way that I will need the abilities, so I'll be mindful of that. If I kill three regular orc boys, then I should be able to, to chip away. I don't think I really want to use... Uh, taunt right now. Oh, you idiot. Get out of there. Oh, that's miserable. I, I, okay, guys. Uh, micromanagement not going well. I'm just gonna drop a big pyro bomb here. Any, any minute now. As soon as you're ready for it. Do, do it. Do the thing. You morons. There it was. My guys are gonna die. This is, uh, this isn't very good. Everyone, okay. I heard enough people to be able to to get through that. 
I totally got boxed in though by the enemies like that was largely my fault for lumping together like that Apparently there's not really pathfinding AI. You have to actually tell your guys where to go, so I'll be careful Grimoires used to stop Chelsea's spells. You need one per character moving to the next world Ooh next world so maybe not within this map but when I go beyond that I'll try and she'll try to like curse us or whatever well done I must leave now as I must prepare for war go to the ziggurat I think the Udur clerics can help you I wish I could sleep right now I definitely need to heal up a little bit the team is hungry they're not tired everything's going poorly Ooh, he's like a snake person this is a fountain hidden inside this temple that can heal you and reveal the future. But you will need to be lucky to find it. Use your karma. Will determine the result. I need purple and yellow. I don't know if I actually spend the karma. Press start and five charms are collected from the bottles, so obviously I won't get any greens. If you want good fate, your charms value must be at least the target. And my target is, so I'm keeping those two because that's what it says. I'm trying to get up to 14, but I don't know. Okay, that one's value is one. That's where it says. Okay, there it has a helpful reminder for me there. Okay, so re-roll the rest of those guys then. Spend one blessing to add four to the result. How many times am I allowed to re-roll? So I'll, I'll just keep those guys for sure, but I'll also pray. Spending a blessing permanently will increase your fate score by four. Yes. Accept. And for that, I receive a moon on a piece of paper. You found the Fountain of Visions. In its waters, you feel healed and blessed. You can use the fountain to see the future. Ooh, see a possible future. Here's the full Tiscaria map that I can, like, go around in. Oh, good. Everything burned down and died. That was uh, less informative than I was hoping. I thought it would recommend a specific, maybe, area to investigate. Tescaria will be destroyed. It is the last days of Tescaria. In the vision, the annihilation began in the Crimson Land, the region where Chelsea is located. We should stop her and the undead army. Oh, so our mission hasn't changed. I gotcha. I don't have enough food. That's not very good. Hopefully you guys are willing to help me out. He's got like a debuff right now from being hungry. Ooh, I healed. I'm in charge of this library. I can sell you one grimoire if you're going to use the portal. Cool. I will do this. A very good deal indeed. Take and leave. Obviously all of this is crafted to be like the perfect outcome. All of this was always going to work out. There weren't really choices. That stuff's still coming. I'll try to find out how to defeat Chelsea. In the meantime, go to the Blackhorn Barrens and investigate there. Remember, try to find our gold or another way to defeat Chelsea. Relics are valuable and powerful. One grimoire per person to travel between regions. Oh, so I can't use the portal at all without the grimoire? I thought it might have just been that you risk more if you travel without it. You will be able to travel. I will do this. Try to use it with one. No, I'll use the two for the safety of it. Chelsea and her undead will doom all of us. We can't allow the prophecy to be fulfilled. We have a long journey ahead until we get to her fortress in the Crimson Land. We must become stronger to stand a chance. Maybe a few more pieces of armor. I know that you're trying to even out your tan a little bit. The shoulders tend to get overlooked a lot. You maybe got a little bit too much going on in the forearms, so you cover those up to make sure you can even out that farmer's tan. But like practically, I feel like you probably want some more armor. Just saying. We should be careful with the Blackhorn clan. They are helping her. You activate the portal, and now I get to choose my destination. I have options here. I don't really have options, but once I go to here, then you'll see you can travel to like tangential locations. So for now, this is the only place I can go. Home of the Blackhorn Clan, a group of ruthless yet honorable orcs. Easy to find little, uh, what are we calling these? Gems. Used to craft powerful spells, buy magic items, and as currency in the forest. And the relics, the blessings? Oh, used in fate challenges. Yes, I still have one of those. 
easy to expend is gold and hard to find are the relics blessings <laughs> home of the uh, the tribe the clan whatever it's my only choice yes of course i'm going you were hired to protect a gold delivery but it was stolen before you started your mission well that the went terribly the clan have made a pact with chalice avoid them chalice i've just been saying like chalice chalice i'll try to remember that probably gonna forget it uh, I don't, doesn't seem like I lost gold. I might have gotten lucky. Ruins or magic tower. Really what I need to find is bread. Oh, you can see there's like a, a countdown for the different days going on over here. It will, if you help someone, they will lower prices. This thief can sell you maps and maybe teach you something interesting. Uh, check what he's selling. A fortress map. Shows a back door to the fortress. Yeah, I I might as well play around with stuff like that because I don't really know what's going on currently. Uh, so if I, I give myself options like that, then maybe maybe something cool will come up. There are some scribblings on the entrance of the cave. The markings indicate that there was a hideout of the dragon cult. They disappeared many years ago, so there shouldn't be anybody and maybe we can find some treasure. Explore may have something valuable. Oh damn! You find a large room. There's a red dragon inside, but he's all chained up. You over there, help me! I was captured many years ago, and I can't leave this cave. Free me, and I will give you part of my treasure. Why? I will give you gold or a magic item, whatever you prefer. I don't know. I haven't really thought it through yet. Maybe I can help you in the future if you need my assistance. Free him for sure. Great! <laughs> Hell yeah! As I said, I'll give you something, uh, and on top of that, I'll let you live. I want the gold. I'll take the gold. I just spent a bunch. Oh my my, it's so cold in here. What happened to all the volcanoes in the land? I will have to activate them. Ooh, is he actually changing the map? You hear a noise and the mountain starts to spit lava. Dragon! That's no one saying that. That's him saying... That's him saying dialogue. That's more like it. It was so cold. Bye! Bye! Leave fast. Ooh, good idea. <laughs> oh my god, I actually turned this entire place into a volcanic hellhole. Great! That was great. I, I'm just curious how I, like, use this. Or if I need to. It's not that type of weapon. I'll just put it in my pack then. No, it's bad. It's bad in the pack. I'll leave it in my chest then. Hopefully I get the chance to. I'm pretty sure I can backtrack, but I guess then I'm increasing the hunger and everything of my team. Oh, the clan is moving. Avoid them. You arrive at a campment with traders. It seems that they are trading slaves. Try to buy one. It says try. I don't like the, I don't like the idea of try to buy one. I would rather just go at it hard. We have a couple oogie boogies here. Does it tell me if they're actually called shamans? That's a lot of health, actually. 750. He has 900. And uh, even if I killed these two guys that wouldn't do it, I'm much better off going for one of the shamans and just trying to, like, make the most out of that. You move for now. And then once it seems like you two are effectively out of each other's way, then I'll go in. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, they're... they're just going to attack me no matter what I do so I guess I'm not going to worry about a taunting or anything I sincerely hope that I don't hurt my own dude with this yeah it's fine I'm sure it's fine you you got this right buddy oh crap okay that didn't work quite how I thought it did I thought that those guys were like being highlighted in a way that meant uh, they would take all the damage you know or that uh, that killing one of those Oh, he just has an extra wide thing on there. He weirdly... I don't know what... I don't know what the confusion is anymore of why I thought that killing individual enemies sometimes was enough. I guess they have to be a leader. Specifically, a leader. Uh, so they're on the move. I plan to avoid them. That seems good, yes. They don't actually hate me yet. They're still neutral, but, like, probably not big fans of mine. And you guys are tired. I'll let you have a little rest while you're at it. I want to go to the castle. Ooh, there's a grimoire in here, too. And I don't know if it's the castle I have a map for. 
You see a large orc with a group of kobolds in cages. It seems that she is selling them. Maybe she knows something about the kobolds that stole the gold from the greenskins. Oh, so I didn't get robbed. They did. Ask uh, about the stolen gold. Well, I just opened the business, so it was not my kobolds. There's other slave traders in the region. Maybe he knows more about that. I will tell you where to find him, but my prices are better. Maybe you want to take a look. Buy a slave group. I don't need slaves. Don't need them, don't want them. Seems bad. Ooh, the cigarette. I can get a blessing. I can heal there. I have a specific quest right now. The Wicked Sorceress, that's the main one. And you have Cobalt Slaves to help you. I do. No, I don't. I, I could have, I think. Oh, I can specifically see where the clan is. They're kind of spreading out. I didn't expect them to be at multiple locations like that. You can use the magic on this place to increase your power. Yes, I will. <laughs> I'll give a warrior a perk. He can have extra armor or extra health. By 600, yeah, extra health. <laughs> Choose and leave. After you drain the power of the stones, a group of orcs and goblins attacks you. Yeah, but I'm all buffed up right now, so I'm, I'm less concerned about it. Hmm, I could kill the big guy and one shaman. No, I'm probably better off just killing two shamans, I think, since they have slightly less health. He's vulnerable to fire, though. Ooh, he's vulnerable to fire, fire as well. Is pretty much not worth attacking that guy at all. I'll unpause, I'll let some things start to play out here, and maybe we'll craft a little bit of a plan. Okay, come come on now. Move move around. Use your feet. Pick up pick up a little bit, will ya? Oh yeah, I keep forgetting that I need to like activate that. Ooh, I'll let that play out for a little bit, but pretty soon here I might need to uh, activate a taunt. I'm a uh, don't want her to take quite so much damage. Probably time for a little taunt. <laughs> I think it was actually like a, like a horde or something that he blew, but it's kind of funny because it sounds a little bit like he just hollered ridiculously. It seems like they actually, the projectiles were hitting the things that were in the way. You don't really like shoot around enemies, you know? <sighs> You're still blocking me off over there, hey? They're really spreading out like crazy, much more than I realized, actually. I kind of have to keep pushing forward. There's a tower that belongs to the Council of Mages. A mage is training a group of apprentice apprentices joined to learn a new spell. Storm. Creates a storm. Six lightning bolts will strike your enemies, doing uh, quite a bit of damage. And charm. Befriends one non-large enemy. Oh, so that's totally how that's represented in the top bar there. For a short time, mana cost 60, does not apply to large or bosses. Let's play around with Storm. I mean, Charm. <laughs> I completely changed immediately. Oh, the fortress, is that what I have a map for? Yes, okay, yes. Then I very much want to investigate that. Wow, I wish I wasn't so damaged. It's the main fortress of the Blackhorn clan. Rotiger is usually here. Ask for an audience, try to find an entry that is not guarded, use the map to enter the specifically unguarded secret entrance. You are inside the fortress. Oh, maybe I can free the ogre. Look for any clue about what Chal Sh Sh I forget already, has asked them to do, or maybe I can find a way to slow down their army. I instead will look at what Chal Se has asked. Great, some gems, but you've been detected. Get the gems and run. You escaped, but the patrol will alert their forces and the Blackhorn clan will move faster. You will be chased faster for a while. Run! Uh, to the armory. Hopefully we can buff our guys up a little bit. Everything there looks too old to be used. Oh shit, I never did get a grimoire. <laughs> but there is a passage that leads down. Well, hopefully there will be something good there. Orcs and goblins. Not really what I was looking for. If I go at the two big guys, no. Or if I just go at the two... He probably counts as large. He probably counts as medium. So I want you to cast... Oh, which one is which? The crossbow one is the one I want. Yes. Yes, I want you to charm him. And you run in here and just go start bashing... Bashing up enemies. 
feel like that'll be good. Okay, didn't mean for everyone to start immediately attacking you. That's probably not very good. Uh, I'm probably boned. It seems like I really have suffered a lot of damage and I don't really see how I can possibly live this little skirmish right here. I keep getting like, oh, because he's flanked. It's like making him stutter his attacks there. So I couldn't really do what I was trying to. All your characters are dead. Well, bitch. But it does have things that carry over. I can spend uh, skill points. I don't know how I specifically earned three, but let's see what some of the things are. Equip to boost mana by 60. You start standing with the green skins higher. They will be more prone to help you. You start standing with the mages higher. When attacking, this is the Earthshaker, sometimes stun enemies in front of the wielder. That sounds cool. I like that. Lightning Bolt creates a bolt in a straight line. I think I must always have these two characters and can potentially recruit more. Multiple magic missiles. A fire staff. Berserker increases damage dealt by 15 but reduces armor. Damages and stuns for one second in a small area. Damages your armor times three. Lightning armor. Vulnerable to arrows resistant to lightning. Lightning thunder rod. Uh, this one's locked for some reason. Some, A couple of them are, I guess. Creates an area with grease that makes uh, more melee attacks miss, but you can combo it with fire, which is really cool. Increase armor and dodge regen, but reduce movement speed. Befriends things. It makes charm better, I guess. Oh, the, and these are already all unlocked. I will spend one on Earthshaker. Uh, the, having a better relationship with some of these guys might be better. Oh, you can see three different people that it applies to, even though I've clearly only ever, like, found the one. Berserker could be fun. Stunning could be fun. I'll do better favor with green skins, and then how about another skill? Yeah, let's use Magic Missile. That's, that's what we got going on. Uh, don't click exit, it closes the entire game. <laughs> but that that is a, a quick look at Last Days of Tuscaria. It's kind of a challenging game. I guess I, I had to be more mindful of things than I thought and couldn't really just fight every single time that that came up as an opportunity, you know? I, I kind of had to plan ahead a bit better. But now I permanently have these two characters and I can jump straight into kind of where I, not quite where I left off, but when I first entered the larger area. The Orcs Errand, if for whatever ridiculous reason I wanted to restart that, there's no reason for me to. Uh, here I can again choose like a different difficulty and things like that. I'm basically just doing it just to see what it starts me off with and how that looks like it'll carry forward. So right off the bat, because in a previous run, I've unlocked things like like taunts and shields and axes, and I've spent uh, on Earthshaker, which apparently it still is locked. I guess I've maybe unlocked the ability to find it, but I, I haven't like unlocked it yet. But you know, I, I taught myself Pyroblast, I taught myself Taunt. These are things that are now available to me. I can buy them in the opening opening thing here. Like, Pyroblast was really cool. Uh, oh, I'm deactivating it if I do that. Okay, so I, I could choose to do a, a couple more things. Like, maybe I... That's about it. Apparently, I can't unlock that stuff yet. Not quite there yet. Haven't quite accomplished that. Uh, but that's neat. I could choose to, like, leave behind a shield to start a mission with additional gold. And then otherwise it drops you off in the beginning of, of this area again, but you'll see things are randomly generated, like it's not the ruins and whatever it was before. I might not necessarily find the, the dragon, I might not turn things back to lava, it's going to play out totally differently. And then once you clear this area, then you like navigate the map more, maybe you try and go straight for like the end boss, maybe you explore more, uh, gain additional favor with the different different uh, groups and I'm kind of wondering if the six different endings which I believe there were six would be like having to do with which group you specifically help the most so if at the end of it I had most lost souls and everything else was kind of reduced 
that would be some special ending of, of specifically helping them. Uh, I didn't really get a chance to like level up my characters. I didn't didn't ever do that particularly well. But yeah, I think there's some cool stuff on display here. I think there's some cool ideas. Some of the animation in battle looks a little stuttery like uh, South Park or something. But that's pretty easy to overlook. It's cool like hand painted uh, artwork. And I, I think the branching narrative and the choices and everything, I think all that is really interesting. So yeah, the game is out now, out of early access, full release. Link down below, you guys can go check it out for yourselves. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.